We have about 20 million end users on our platform. We like to say that one in 10 account holders in the United States leverages a Q2 financial institution, and we move about $2.2 trillion worth of money through our platform on an annual basis. Where I think things have evolved for Q2 is with uh, really the transition or evolution of infrastructure as code. Um, we are multi-cloud, uh, hybrid cloud. I think probably the biggest challenge is preparing the teams for the operational complexity that comes with operating across multiple uh, cloud providers. And I think as much as we can simplify or reduce the complexity of that operationally, the better off and the, I think the easier that transition will be for our, our people. We consume uh, Nomad Console Vault uh, primarily today. Uh, and the growth of microservices and orchestrated architecture over the last four years has gone from just a couple hundred containers um, to where we'll be next year, which is about 100,000 plus uh, containers composed of, again, a mix of probably 50-50 Windows uh, and open source uh, software. We leverage Nomad for the orchestration of containers as well as Windows workloads. We wanted something that we could operate in both private data center and public cloud. Something that I think was low in terms of complexity and in adoption, something that we could easily adopt. If you started in public cloud, you naturally would gravitate towards something like Kubernetes. But Nomad for us really checked a lot of boxes given our hybrid data center architecture and strategy. I think the ability to run the software in a hybrid cloud model or distributed cloud model as well is not something that we would probably try to do with another orchestration uh, technology. I think if you start with the three core products, enterprise products that we consume today, Nomad, Console, and Vault, those all I think make up a, a pretty natural ecosystem of orchestration, of service discovery and application health, and then secrets management and PKI infrastructure um, with Vault. HashiCorp reduces a lot of the complexity and friction that would come with an all-in-all-out migration to cloud. We can move workloads to cloud, make some subtle changes to those workloads, but they're technologies. It's an orchestration platform that we're familiar with operating in both private data center and public cloud. It's a 24-7, 365 type of world. We know what we sign up for when we do this, and we understand the criticality and the role that we play in people's lives. Q2 uh, is operating with record uptimes today. Um, we we are running at the highest uptime that we have in our company's history, and I believe that HashiCorp products are core um, to many of the improvements that we've seen uh, in performance and availability.